Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Um, by the way, can we just uh, give a shout out to legal rock star Dana Nessel in yep. Lesbians Named Dana <laughs> are just uh, intrinsically awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I've been as I, and it for as years. I've often said, between you and Dana Nessel and me and Rachel Maddow, do lesbians have to do everything? Because yes, if we do, do, we will. Because we're yes. not distracted by D. Hmm. You're going to have to face it. You're distracted by D, <laughs> Jody. So am I. Yeah, well, you're no help. <laughs> Chris, you're Chris no help. That's why Dana and I have to do everything. I mean, yeah, I'm distracted by it. I just don't want to touch it. I'm very distracted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very distracted. Yeah, what is that? Very, especially with this new swimsuit fad. Yeah. We got rid of the boy shorts and now we're doing these Speedos. So trust me, they're very distracting. They're just not. Oh, really oh, I've learned things about friends of Chris's because, you know, you frequently post, you know, swimsuit photos yeah. with all his beefcake friends. And there's a. Oh, yeah. What is it? A thing? It's something. Is what's What kind of thing is it? It's not a speedo enlargement, but it's a. Uh, it, no, it's not a C ring. No, no. Well, what is it? Because that, that's wow. I mean, I'm like wow. I'm so, not, well, you know how I some women, you know how someone w- women put silicone in their breasts to make oh, them larger. Right, right. Some men put silicone in the, their sacks. Yes, to make also, their balls. Also, from what I know, balls. I can what? confirm or deny. I think some of the go-go dancers that like the some of the the gay bars they put small pieces of fruit like limes under, and so oh. it helps them stay okay. up. Okay. I've never experienced that in my. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow! Well, that, that's because you don't need a line. It's uh, the opposite of uh, what's his name, Tom Brady. It's a inflated balls, not deflated yeah, balls. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Where do yeah, we start so with? Uh, I, you know, we were just saying. I, I this I hesitate to say poor guy, the guy that threatened Biden, Biden and Alvin, Alvin Bragg and the FBI, and then uh, shockingly was shot to death by the FBI yesterday. It, it just, I wish the media would t- start taking more seriously Trump terrorism. Which is exactly 100%. what it is. His base is um, a cult. We've talked about this before. They're also insanely impressionable. Whether it's an education thing or they're indoctrinated with this Fox News crap, they are it, easily influenced. They truly are. And they, they think they're fighting for their Messiah. Yeah, It's terrifying. It's a mental health issue in this country. If you don't think they, that Trump, uh, Trumpism is a mental health issue in this country. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, that guy is just an outgrowth of, I don't know, let's play one of these guys for Dana, these maggots. If Donald Trump were to be found guilty by a jury, <laughs> where, where, where do you see this going? Uh, civil war. Civil war. Divide it up, because we can't live together, obviously. And if he wants me to protect them, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to let him know that I'll do it. I just the casualness with which people are starting to talk about civil war, right? Like it's uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, it's a little humid. In like, LA. like we'll have, have no choice. War. Like that's yeah. what it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. And in reality, you're going to end up, as I keep saying all morning, Dana, dead or in prison. It, yeah. In prison, like a lot of the J6 defendants, or dead, like this guy yesterday. But I mean, absolutely. it's just you know, I if they it, think they're impervious, and yeah. part of it is because there have been no consequences as of lately. And as of yet, yes, the indictments are coming down, but there, it, that there, there are still no consequences for what he has done yet. And so all of his fires, all of his followers feel like that they have that some sort of same sort of impermeability where they're, they're fine. They can, they can behave with impunity and nothing's going to happen to them. Yeah. That's what this problem is. But the law applies. They're going to either go to jail, they're going to get shot. And unfortunately, he hasn't had any of those things happen yet. But not that I'm advocating for the second. You know what I mean by giving well, an example. But they think there's going to be no consequences. But me, there is for the common guy. The let common me give you woman. an example. They are of going to go down. Targets is you know, uh, Fanny Willis. I don't. We can't. Yeah. Is it Fanny? I don't know. <laughs> uh, when when she was sworn in, she pronounced it Fanny Willis. Yes, Fanny. There we go. That's what yes. I thought. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so, Dana, but, you know, obviously she's talked about the amount of threats, the amount of security, all of, I, I'm sure they all need Alvin Bragg, uh, Fawny Willis, Jack Smith. There's been multiple, uh, you know, threats, not just against Jack Smith, against the entire grand jury. But obviously it looks like Fawny Willis is up next. Clearly, you know, we're any day now looks like it might be now next week. But um, we were, you know. He puts out so much bull so quickly in these stupid troughs or whatever. We were saying it's impossible to fact check in real time. We're always like, what is he talking about? And then it takes a day. Because we were right. saying he basically called Fawny Willis a whore, you know, a yeah. gangbanger whore. 
yesterday and we were like what is he and so sure enough today trump branded a georgia prosecutor a young racist and claimed she had an affair with a gang leader uh she, they said uh, he said they said she was after a certain gang and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang or a gang member claimed trump at this rally uh last week trump posted a video on true social featuring a rolling stone headline about ms willis defending rapper ysl mondo in 2019 and falsely claiming that she got caught hiding a relationship with a gang member she was prosecuting there is no suggestion or evidence that ms will ms willis had any romantic relationship with the rapper who described the mother and son type of talks he had with her the magazine reported at the time so as usual it's i said what is that about nothing it's about nothing mm -hmm. It's yeah, about, but you know, it's also Ms. Will that, Ms. Oh, Willis sorry, is married ahead. with two children, is obviously expected to indict him soon. That's what it's about, right? Well, she also has grounds now to sue him for defamation. Sure. I mean, even Carroll is precedent for this stuff. It's just ridiculous that he would do this. He's not acting in the his presidential whatever responsibilities or whatever. He's not protected by the First Amendment yeah. with this. I don't understand when he's losing cases like the Agent Carroll case for defamation, why he doesn't... Yeah. I, it's impulse. It's impulse. Mary would say it too. He cannot stop. I thought, you know, I thought exactly that, Dana. Like, oh my God, she ought to sue the out of him. You know, Absolutely. but the problem is if every... I guess if everyone did that, oh my God, there would just be mountains of lawsuits because you're right. He does this stuff all the time where Which he just repeats... Baseless now. rumors or something that he saw somewhere on some right wing thing that because I was wondering, is that based on anything? Sure enough, it's not based on anything. If, right. if, if Fonnie Willis, uh, if, if anybody has knowledge on how to sue somebody, it's Fonnie Willis. Yeah, yeah. but so I think, that, you she know, should. obviously she's more focused on indicting him yeah. for the crimes he committed in yeah. Fulton County. But, but so, of, of, course. Course, of course, she's probably not going to. But you're right. Like, how does he keep getting away with this? Just defaming people left and right every day. Based well, on also the threats online. If any, anyone else who was under indictment was sending off the truth social tweets that he is... They would have his his um, terms of his release revoked. He'd be in he, jail. He He'd called in Jack Smith a crackhead and said it was his coke in the White House. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like, but you're right. There, he's focused on you know prosecuting Trump for the crimes he committed, and so I'm sure again he's not going to either. But it, it just there is this sense of just like, oh my God, how does he keep getting away with this? You can't just yeah. you know. I mean, can and we can't count on, but you have to just hope that like all of this turns into evidence in cases like listen judges they decide how they're going to try people uh, and not based on their own biases but when you've got a criminal that keeps breaking their terms that the judge is setting yeah it's not doing him any favors when it comes to sentencing when it comes to yeah. his case and i don't know why he doesn't know that it's not going it, it, it to it is rallying his base he's got not getting new voters they're the same voters and all it, he's doing is getting himself in more yeah. trouble and Dana, when you bring up E.G. and Carol, it does make you like wish that everyone had her wherewithal and crack legal team because you're right because she keeps winning and winning and winning as all of these people would that he's yeah. defamed. But it's just you're right. He counts on that most people don't have the wherewithal or the access to legal help or whatever to to pursue this, right? Well, also I think he thinks he genuinely believes he should get away with this stuff because of who he is. I don't think he's counting on people not being able to defend themselves. This man thinks that he is impervious to consequences because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And so he's just going to keep rattling this crap off. So I don't even think that he thinks they're not smart enough or not wealthy enough to get the right lawyer. He doesn't give a crap. Yeah, yeah. Beth in Michigan, you're on with Dana. Hey, Beth. Hey there. Hi. Good morning. It's, it's a great morning in Michigan. Ten of the fake electors were arraigned. Yay. Yay. And they all pleaded not guilty, which is hilarious because one man said that he just signed a blank piece of paper not knowing where her signature was going. <laughs> and the real funny thing is that the leader of the group she had a pool party at her house. $30 as a fundraiser for her legal fees. And she also has a GoFundMe page. Yeah. And they live in a very wealthy area. And, and people are giving her money. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, sucker born every minute. 